Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a little different video which is to talk about myself and also welcome everyone to my channel. I realized that when I looked into my old videos, every single video was about a handbag or a handbag collection, wallet collection. So I thought I'll take this opportunity to talk about myself and formally welcome everyone to my channel, all right? Plus also LV Lover CC and Caroli George wanted me to do this video. Plus LV Lover CC, she has given me a couple questions and I will make sure that I answer them. Uh, let me start from, just give you a gist. I would not, I promise you, I'll not bore you with my details, but I'll just uh, give you a little slight insight. Um, my name is Deepa, that's my short name, that's how people call me. I came, I have a bachelor's in computer engineering from India. I came to United States to do my master's, which is 2003 I came. Um, and then after finishing my master's, I finished it like in two years and then I started working. I was a consul consultant when I started. You know, the visa status and everything. Um, I don't want to go into that detail, but my visa status made me to work as a consultant rather than taking full-time opportunities. So I was like that. I enjoyed it. It was good. So I, I am a software professional, you know. I work my... I work in uh, software validation. When I started, I started uh, working for a pharmaceutical company. Now software is utilized in all the companies, you know that, every single so medic, pharma, all healthcare companies, mortgage, finance, everything has software in it. Or, so that's why I, my first job was in a pharmaceutical company. It was really good. So it was going on. It, um, I learned a lot. It was, it was good. So then 2009, I moved into a full-time position. Um, yeah, 2009, I think. Yes, I moved into full-time position. I'm just thinking the timing, everything. And then uh, till now, I'm in a full-time position. My, I moved jobs from one company to another. Currently, the company that I am working for is like number one or number two in the world. Their healthcare company. Um, so it depends upon which market you look at, uh, or sorry, which side of the world you look at. So they're number one or two. I enjoy working with them. So rewind, go back. My first job when I did, I, I have no issues with uh, following orders, and I listen really well. I don't have any problem with that. But sometimes when someone tells me how to do it, I most of the time I want to know why it is being done that particular way. It's not that just because you want it, I'm doing I just want to know because of you want it, I'm doing it or it's just the way it is. So most of the time I remember when I asked my manager a question, what she would do instead of giving an answer, she would say, oh, you know what, you should do this way because of the regulation X, Y and Z, because of that, because of this rule and everything she would go on. It doesn't make any sense because it's not common sense. Why would someone write a regulation calling that? But still, I, you know, because I don't know what it is, I can't argue with her, so I'll just do it. But I, but I feel if you want to do something, I always, if you want to, you have to put your art and soul in it without understanding what it is. It will not make any sense. So what happened? I wanted to know what it is. I'm kind of inquisitive in something. Sometimes I'm curious. Sometimes I'm very lazy. I'm way too lazy. But sometimes I'm curious. Just wanted to know. So in 2009, I mean, I moved jobs. But still, you know, it was always in my mind. I started taking a certificate program. I was not thinking about getting joining another master's because there is no point in it. I already have a master's. Why would I want to go? I'm not like... A, people who is behind degrees, like I'm not like that. Um, so that's what I did. I took the certificate program. It was very helpful for my work. So I wanted to continue it. They said, if I want to continue, I have to convert the certificate program into a master's program. If not, I will not be able to complete. So for this certificate program, first two classes I paid, it cost a lot. The classes are taken by professionals. This is not software, it's completely different. 
but it's a quality assurance program they are all because they were taught by professionals they cost a lot of money so i was thinking for one year whether to put that much money because i was a consultant at that time and i have to put it from my pocket i put the money i thought i always i had not i don't take decisions like this i take a while but when i take i will stick with that so it took me a while and then i put the money but after that after the two classes because i it turned into a full time i, I went as a full time um, no at work i became a full time what they did was they the tuition reimbursement program actually covered all the other classes till today the company wherever i work covered they covered it only because it is kind of my program is aligned with them the program is to enhance my current job skills so whatever i learned there kind of helps them so that's the one of the reasons why a company would uh, agree for a tuition reimbursement and that was good so this is what i did i did my program and then i'm going to graduate this year when i was pregnant when i was taking the certificate program or this is how i converted it into second masters but when i was doing the certificate program i was pregnant so it was actually a little difficult but i enjoyed it i enjoyed it i always feel that if you do what you want you will enjoy it you know so i enjoy doing whatever i'm doing i do not consider myself an uh, excellent student no i am not i am not studious i am always i was an above average student i will do my own path i'll just be going of course my path will align with the uh, rules and everything but still my path is my path because i don't like to compete with others i handle pressure really well that's not the problem but if you keep on competing with others it takes i feel like it takes the main purpose out of it when you are going towards your goal you will face a lot of failures a lot of mistakes cover it. rather than focusing on that every single time i have to focus what my competitor is doing what my competitor is doing i mean it doesn't make sense so i always compete with myself like today whatever i am tomorrow how i look how i am day after tomorrow what i do what is my confidence level that is how i gauge my uh, level of improvement seriously and it really helped till today i no problem of whatever i want i am whatever i want i have got it until today so no question about that so regarding um the she asked how old was your son when you went back to school so like i said i was pregnant at that time too so i was going even at that time the toughest time was when i when my son was born was really tough because i was not able to go to the classes i took like two years break the reason is i have to i go full i work full time my son goes to daycare that at least consider is normal but when he come back home i have to leave him with a nanny and then go to a class that's how should have happened one day just one day first day i tried that i left him at the nanny's place and i looked at his face it is expression literally literally broke me broke my heart i thought my heart would bleed so what i did all i did was i went right there to my school dropped the class came back picked up picked him up like within half an hour i did all this picked him up and went home i thought it is not worth it i will wait they always offer the school always offer like 5 year to complete if not you can extend to so i took a break who's counting who's counting the time you know and actually it worked really well because during that period they started having online classes so i was able to take online classes where my son usually will be on my lap you the the school's policy it's not a policy but usually the professor will tell that don't be distracted just be here but what is the point if i have to shut my door and then sit and watch my son will be right outside you know scratching the door or anything like a little little cat he will, he will do that so i decided it's not worth it whatever i can listen with him having him on my lap i'll do that that's fine so i used to have him in my lap and thank god my professor told everyone i don't want please mute your webcam and your um, microphone 
only when time like when presentation or anything listen to me if not it's okay she said so that was really good because i remember when you used to sit she used to ask questions so most of the time i have to literally pull the microphone from him because he will be holding it and he will go block back 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 on the phone on the on the microphone so it was so funny when i have a presentation or something i usually leave him with my husband i say you know have him until i finish it then it looked like most of the mothers who particularly happened with the mothers you know other students who are in the classes their kids do the exact same thing and you know it's 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 really natural and normal and professor was totally fine with that so we re i really enjoyed and i took a couple classes like that and then i am going back again with my traditional classroom so that's really good and she asked how to be mom study and work it's all you i mean when you do something when you believe in something when you want to do it do it everything will fall into place everything of course we should not harm anyone like our loved ones or anything but other than that you know when come to comes to us it's like our interest you do whatever you want to do and everything will uh, will show its way that's what i would say see like for me i took a break because for my son i wanted to just uh, be with him it always already always worked plus when you have something try to align like if there are two tasks try to align them together so that you do not see even though there are two different tasks they can be you can pass the information back and forth so it will be considered one task you see that is the some of the most of the time i felt i was able to manage my time because of that i took my classes to enhance my job skill i didn't pick something completely different so what happened every time i will do my work the uh, homework at the work you know why the classes i will ask them question it is my day to day work it will help them most of the time my classes really really helped my company that's why they always want to know more okay what's going on in the current industry what is that so it's kind of like information goes back and forth you see what i mean I try to align two things together so it gets easier she is asking how to deal with life full time working good mom and wife i don't know whether i'm a good mom and good wife but i try to be it like i said time management first time will be the most difficult but uh, start doing it it will get easier trust me my husband is such a sweet fellow and everything but i never asked him to help with anything and he will do it now and then see the classes he will take and everything but most of the time i take my son for extra things i cook i do these things everything i do it myself it's not like he doesn't do i have never asked him to do whatever i can i do it because i don't complain every single time some things even though i don't ask him he will do it many things he will completely how can i do all these activities if he doesn't support or my but my son he is okay like he can he is actually tough very tough sometimes you'll ask a question why are you reading all the time you have to spend time with me i used to tell him right that's true you have to read too you are not reading come on take your notebook and let's read so i will do my homework when he is doing his homework something like that but he asks lots and lots of questions and that's good so the other things that i wanted to say these are her questions and i i hope i answered and if you have any question you ask me plus i also wanted to say that youtube really helped me a lot i'll tell you how when i am a classical dancer i got my i did my arangetram that is like a, getting a certificate for my classical dance bharatanatyam i have performed a number of times a number of stages but when it comes to speaking i cannot do anything i am have you watched the harry potter movie you know the petrify they say literally i petrify one time i went for a competition and i was back in india all i did was said good morning and i just froze that's it it was such an embarrassing moment and now i laugh about it but at that time it was oh my god so what happened is over time i kind of got easy but still when i started making videos that was one of the reasons why i started making my train of thoughts you know i keep talking it kind of 
I'm able to keep thinking and speak. So it kind of helps me with the flow. Plus also I do not edit my videos. I don't know how to edit it. Plus I don't want to edit it because with this, I also joined my Toastmasters. Toastmaster is a uh, helps you with your communication and professional skills, not professional leadership skills. Mostly like a public speaking for a class. So I joined there. I go once in a week and for an hour. There you do not edit it. How do you edit it? You have to speak in front of people and they have their own syllabus, which I follow and make speeches. So it kind of helps me. Not the same content, but what I'm saying is the skills like timing and no notes with me and uh, plus my mind like I can make I can kind of frame my thoughts around it like all those things really help me so I do that plus also <clears throat> I think I've told you before my parents own an engineering college back in India they started it in 2007 I've not contributed much but in 2013 like last year I think my mom said that can you do something I told her very clearly that I can but if you expect me to for example you have students I work in a company if you think that I should place them that will not work I want them to try it with your own skills the reason is still today wherever I am <clears throat> I am where I want to be but wherever I am I did not use any networking anything it's not that I should not I'm against it it's that it's it's just that I'm not good at asking anyone plus wherever I want to I did it my I mean did it myself went into it with it happened only because of the skills that I developed over time so I told my mom I I started from like like zero to wherever I am I'm not saying I'm like this but still here right from here to here at least a little bit so I can talk to them about that and then help them to speak like I can help them with their communication skill a little bit because they some of the students may not speak in English at all. They are very uncomfortable. So I said I can help. I can do that. If you look for me in that helping them bringing them to a position that they themselves can go and find a job. I will do that. But I won't do the other one. The main the one of the other reasons there are some companies working. But say, for example, if I try to get an obligation from them, then I have to do something which I don't want to. Doesn't matter wherever I work, for whomever I work, I will not cut my feeding can and I want to help my employer. So I, I somehow feel like I with my work, I do it certain way and I see a reason like a benefit or risk or anything. I would go with that. But I would not, any other things will not influence my work, will not. So that's how I am. So I told my mom very clearly about this. And she said, for a person like her, she said, you know what, you should develop their skill. Help them develop. I mean, tell them whatever you can. So that's what I do. What I do is, if I have that own syllabus. I tried it with six students. They liked it. Then slowly making them talk, making them comfortable. I don't get, we don't get any money from them. So it's kind of like uh, they might learn a lot of things, but it's not about money all the time. So it kind of makes them easier, makes them feel comfortable too. I do it once in a week. So night for me is day for them and vice versa. And they will be in the daytime, in the morning time. So most of the time when I start the program and finish it, it will be like a midnight. People ask me, some people ask me like, why do you do that? What, what do you get out of it? See, I don't consider everything with money. I don't think if I do one thing, I should get this much money. No, I do not consider money as one of the main things. I consider what I learned from that. I learned communication skill because of that and because of YouTube, because of Toastmasters. I kind of develop my skill, which I use it at work. You see what I mean? I kind of back and forth. I will see the common thing, which is an all and try to apply or apply across. So time management skill, communication skill, presentation skill. I develop. It's not that I don't develop anything. So I value them a lot more than money because every person, most of the people would love money and power. Who doesn't like it? Everybody likes it most of the people so you can't focus always on that 
you have to focus on a higher purpose right higher purpose and align your goal with that automatically everything else will follow not in the same path but same form but in some way or the other you see, you see what i mean so the basic thing is i do not i mean i think it's wrong to always consider your work with the money every single time every activity if that it would not actually help you grow that's what this is just my personal opinion whichever i help I, it help me is what i'm sharing it with you um and my parents are also like that i learned it from them and i would pass it on to my son the same thing what i learned because i am a person who feels that we should do what we want to do that's it we should always do it and be happy with that that's it. whatever makes us makes us happy we should try that so i hope it helped i know i uh, ramble a little bit here and there i'm trying to focus but i don't know what i did i hope i didn't confuse you so if you have any questions let me know and have a nice day bye